All right, now that we've all panicked and are waiting on the edge of our seats for 2 p.m. Eastern time, um, let's take a more calm approach and look at the bigger picture for Bitcoin um, on the log regression bands and realize where we are and you know where we're potentially going uh, in the future. So going all the way back to 2010 here, um, you can note the lower bands and the upper bands. We've hit it, you know, pretty much every time, even even the last cycle back in 2021. We hit uh, the least the lower part of the upper band. So let's go ahead and zoom in and look at that, right? So um, obviously anytime you get up here now, um, if we get up there again, we should at least start taking some profits, right? And just realize where we are. We could go up another, you know, 2x from there, but at least try to lock something in, right? Uh, at the same time, on the flip side of that coin, anytime you're at the bottom of this channel, um, it's probably good to at least start buying some, right? It's the same thing. Start taking profits, start buying for taking profits the next time. So uh, just realize, look at that. Anytime we've hit the bottom of this channel, it can last a while, especially back in you know 2015. We kind of just grind along the, the lower band of that. And that, that right now uh, coincides to about you know, 27, 28K. And that's rising kind of uh, week over week slightly. Uh, so right now the bottom of the band is around, you know, just try 19K. Uh, so 19 to 28K. Uh, we could last in that area and, you know, increasing, right? We could last in this lower band for, you know, the good part of the next six months maybe. Uh, doesn't mean prices can't go up to 30K or something like that. Um, but, you know, that's, that's kind of the odds. Uh, just holding this. We're down here now for about our second month, as you can see on the weekly chart. Now this is BLX, so it's going way back, right? Uh, but look, note this, how many times we did this back in 2015, 2016, before the major run, right? Uh, you still have plenty of time, but that's when you really hit the massive gains and you really start doing multiple X multipliers, uh, multiple X multipliers, uh, when you get outside of this green band and you really start going crazy, even every time, right? You can go back and look at that, but you have plenty of time Right, you're building your foundation, you're going up, maybe you do a two or three X in here, but then you're doing many multiples of that usually, um, and all coins are starting to blow up uh, once you get out of this channel. So we have a ways to go. The top of that channel is over 40K, right? And that's gonna be rising, right? This is steadily rising. Uh, although flattening off year over year, uh, steadily rising. So we're looking like, you know, in next spring, let's say, you know, fast forward six months from now, you know, we're, we're top of that channel could very well be close to 50K. So just keep that in mind, right? We're probably going to be outside of this 48K where it's, that was kind of our, our last move up. Really, our biggest rally in this whole downside bear market uh, was that move from, you know, 30K to 48K. And that could very likely be kind of the top, that resistance of this band, you know, and uh, by the time we hit it and maybe maybe spring, Maybe summertime, something like that. Um, but just realize, you know, starting to buy in here is is as smart as starting to take profits back in here. It's difficult to do, right? And there's no guarantees that we don't drop out of it. But historically, if you would have just, you know, averaged your buying power down at the lower part of this channel uh, for just the past, you know, 12 years now, uh, you'd be doing very well going forward, uh, whether or not you bought um, the absolute bottom or not. So hopefully that helps you uh, get a bigger picture in mind. And, um, you know, just look at all these moving averages. We're almost all in the bottom of the channel. And we've been there before, right? Look at all these, right? Even the 200 week was, um, you know, outside of the channel. So we're not even close to that. So uh, just keep in mind that this is we're still on track for, you know, uh, Bitcoin to climb higher and higher year over year. Um, and, you know, math proves that even more.